Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a foundation review. This intro is going to be really, really quick. I'm going to give you a review and demo of this Black Opal True Op uh, True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. I have mine in the color Suede Mocha and it looks like such. I'm going to show you how I apply it. This is the final result of this makeup application that I'm about to show you. Okay guys, so I applied the makeup at 12.56, it is now 1.16 and I'm done my whole face of makeup. I'm going to come back, I'm going to go out, run my errands, I'll be out maybe for all of 2 to 3 hours and then I'm going to come back and give like my review an update and see how this works. But so far, this is just a full face with it on and this is what it looks like. So we'll be back to show what it looks like in about 2 to 3 hours. Okay guys, so I'm back. It is now 4.16 on the dot, so it has literally be, been three hours since I've had this makeup on. I actually went to just go run some errands, go grocery shopping and stuff like that. So, again, let's just get into the review. This is the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. Liquid girl liquid foundation now this says that it's supposed to help mineralize the appearance of pores a matte finish a light to medium coverage oil fragrance and paraben free so that's what it says on the package if you see it has a pump and it looks like such any foundation that has a pump is always good because it helps you to control how much you're going to use how much you don't have to use it just keeps the foundation around for a long time so I don't know if you can see but um I do see that I am oiling up here right here in this area um, now I did wear some primers with this I decided to use the Smashbox photo finish primer and then I had went in with this I got the wrong one the baby the baby skin by Maybelline you guys have seen this before this is the poor instant pore eraser now since this was supposed to like minimize the appearance of pores I wanted to put this on first just to help it a little bit um, so those are the primers that I did use now I'm just gonna come up a little closer let's just talk about this I really liked applying this this isn't the color suede mocha I won't say this is like a perfect match it kind of gives me like that orange look if you are new to my channel and you just come into this video I do have pigment on my neck that I do not cover so if you see like the difference then that's what it is I don't bring foundation down here on my neck excuse this ratchet nail that just broke as I was handling my groceries girl let's not even get into it let's just change the hand so yeah as I said I really love the way that this applies into your face this has a light to medium coverage which is correct it's not even a light coverage honestly I think it did a really really good job with covering up my dark circles and my um dark marks on my face I did go in with concealer and concealer did fix it but it did a really good job alone by itself just doing that so I would say it's a, it's a medium coverage foundation it shocks me now I forget how much this maybe it was like $8.99 $12 I really can't remember but this is a good foundation to have in your collection if it's something that you want I think if I go a shade deeper than this it'll be a little too dark so I'm just going to stick with this but I won't say this is like a miss like you could definitely pick this foundation up I probably will see myself reaching forward reaching um, to it more because I did love the way they apply the only bad thing that I don't like is that it smells exactly like play-doh 
and it says fragrance free but this smells like play-doh when you apply it and you put it just smells like you guys know what play-doh smells like right that's what it smells like I don't like that okay so I'm close for a reason I do want you got you guys to see the pores on my face and um I feel like they are out a little more if you can see and it says it's only supposed to minimize the appearance of them so I guess they do look a little smaller but from this morning when I put it on they weren't really noticeable and I see now that you can really see I'm going to zoom in some more hopefully you can get it so yes this is what it looks like up close and again I did uh, use a pore filling primer and I use this foundation and I do see the pores more on my face than what I've seen in the beginning so I really don't know what that's all about uh, I, I don't know why I see the pores now than what it was earlier because I, I didn't really see them earlier overall guys if I had to rate this one out of five fine bit five being like the best I three um close to four it's not a bad foundation i do recommend that you do pick it up because it kind of it could be like an everyday foundation wear if you want something um just to if you ain't trying to get all glammed up like since i was just going shopping you see i just did something basic i did throw this on so that is really good for that i did get ordered oily pretty quick not oily but you did see some shininess coming my pores are apparent on my face they're not big but they are there which is weird it applies very smoothly though it feels good when you apply it the color is not all that dead on but it's okay I can get away with it now this line does have a lot of colors that you let's change hands colors that you can pick from but anyways guys I wanted to get up I hope this is not too long sometimes I talk too much coverage is coverage is good it did good by itself without any concealer or anything like that concealer just added on the extra finish but I will say it's not even a light coverage it's definitely a medium um, coverage foundation which is good in my book um, so if you like this check it out uh, again this is from black opal their new foundation in the color suede mocha I'm gonna leave the link down below anyways I'm Nini Tane to all my new subbies hey boo and I'll talk to you guys later bye y'all